what's going on? Thank you for coming back to the channel. It is starting to get a little fallish. You know, it was 108 today, so that temperature is slowly going down to a balmy 108. Anyways, the light's getting a little dimmer. I don't know if you're noticing that. It's getting darker earlier, and it's just starting to be falls in the air. So I figure, what's a great thing for fall? Well, we have apples, we got pumpkins, we got gingerbread as we get closer to Christmas, candy canes, you name it. Anyways, one of the things we're gonna be doing today is something with pumpkin to celebrate the fall festivities. So we're gonna be doing a pumpkin pie ice cream cookie sandwich. I've been working on this one. I like this one. This one's cool. I think you're gonna like this. I'm changing a few ingredients that I use in a lot of my other recipes. So you may have most of these items. You may have to pick a couple of them up. But let's get into this recipe. If you have not already, please like and subscribe this video and also to the channel. Um, it helps me so much. The channel continues to grow. Um, and it's all thanks to you. We're going to be lean, mean. We're going to make it through the holidays. And we're not even going to gain any weight. If anything, we're going to gain some muscle, baby. So anyways, let's get into this recipe. What we will be needing for our pumpkin pie cookies. Let's start with that. Is we're going to need some vanilla or unflavored protein powder. Uh, this is the Forza Pro from the Nutri Shop that I talk about all the time. This, uh, you're going to need some pumpkin here. Canned pumpkin, uh, no sugar added. Make sure you don't get the pumpkin pie can. It's just plain pumpkin. It's in your baking aisle. Uh, we're going to need an egg, a little bit of grass-fed butter, pumpkin pie spice, some stevia, and for this particular recipe, um, I'm using all-purpose flour. I like the way this cooks. Uh, I am not gluten intolerant, so this doesn't seem to bother me so much. If you are, um, if you don't like to uh, cook with all-purpose flour, uh, you can make this recipe. I would suggest coconut flour or um, like an, a uh, gluten-free flour. But uh, we're gonna make it with all-purpose flour, so let's get in this recipe. I also will be adding a teaspoon a baking powder, which I don't have here, just to let you know. Okay guys, what we did to, it sweetens it up with no calories and um, it just gives it a nice flavor. So this is what it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna, uh, also I put in a, a pinch of the baking soda. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on a baking sheet at 350 degrees for eight minutes. Okay, you want your cookies to be about that size because we want them big enough where they can hold our ice cream center. So again, uh, that whole batch made six fairly large cookies with just a little bit left over. And again, throwing it in the oven for eight minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, you want your cookies to be about that size because we want them big enough where they can hold our ice cream center. So again, uh, that whole batch made six fairly large cookies with just a little bit left over. And again, throwing it in the oven for eight minutes at 350 degrees. Guys, a little program note here. It took a little longer, 20 minutes, not, I don't know what I was talking about, eight, that's a different cookie recipe. 20 minutes at 350 degrees, and these are really cool. They have, they are very similar to like a pumpkin pie. They're a little soft on the top and then firm around the side. So these are, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna make our amazing dessert. But uh, I think you guys are like it. Even if you just did pumpkin pie co protein cookies, these came out really, really quickly, guys. These could have stayed in the oven for another five, maybe even 10 minutes. They are really soft on the bottom. But I think it's gonna make them really, really good because they're kind of a half baked oak. They got that pumpkin pie kind of feel where they're still soft. But these are our pumpkin pie cookies. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this light cool whip. Make sure it's in the freezer, not the fridge. Light Cool Whip, and we're going to, as you can imagine, just put it right in between two of these cookies and make a pumpkin pie ice cream cookie sandwich. Cool Whip in between uh, the flat side up, and then you're gonna just put this pumpkin pie cookie right on top there. 